Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I got my buddy Mark McKay, who is an uh, excellent guitar player, and he actually left L.A. to move to Nashville, right? I did. Feels what good to be back, though, to see you. You know, I just there was so much going on there, being a, being a country artist. Um, a lot of creativity, a lot of songwriting, which I love doing, you know, and the songwriting community there is just is on another level, so it's been, cool. it's been really fun, yeah. How come you haven't developed the accent yet? You know? <laughs> some people say I have. I they're they're I full. I gotta of it. hear some twang. Yeah, right. Yeah, maybe so, in my song uh, you will. <laughs> Mark, uh, you just opened for Blake Shelton and who else? Tim McGraw. Cool. Yeah. So how did that work out? They were crazy. So this show we did with both of them were huge shows. You know, we were the we were the direct support on both of them, but. Um, this show we did with Tim McGraw, there was like 22,000 people. It was in Minot, North Dakota. And uh, wow. you want to see some country energy. That's the, that's the place to go. Really? <laughs> yeah. And how, how are they as people? Are they good guys? Amazing. Or... Both of them. Just such stars. Everything about them, you know. And I, that's, that's always fun. The for... regular folk. That to you to to totally. Or... But you can feel where there's, there's like a genuineness that they're regular people, but then they're just superstars on stage. And I think that's, especially when being fans about those guys, I think it's really cool to see that firsthand, you know? So what's your plan here? This is a Taylor guitar. Yeah, I, I play Taylor. Um, I have a couple Taylor guitars at home and I just grabbed this thing off the shelf and it sounded amazing. So it's a really cool body shape and I just thought I'd strum around on it a little bit. All right, kind of a traditional thing. What are you gonna play for us? Um, so I just have a new single that just came out called um, Always Rains in Portland. And I thought maybe I'll sing you a verse and a chorus. Finger pick right. my way through it. Let's, uh, let's hear it. Sound like a plan? All right. I got a new life I'm living on my own I'm Driving with Neil Young, singing on the radio I'm going where the trees grow tall And the beer's always cold growing on Raindrops on the rooftops This hole floods my mind They say it happens for a reason And I don't know if I believe It'll be a long, long journey you'll see It always rains shines on me It always rains in Portland The sun always shines on me Hey, that's beautiful. Wow. Thanks, man. Woo! Cool Thank you. Tune. Sounds like a hit tune to me. Cool. That, you that heard it. You heard curse. it here. <laughs> that could be a curse if I say it. So, you know, I mean, you know, whatever I say, generally no. it goes in the wrong direction. Yeah, it's good. But that's a really good tune. Really nice hook. Thanks, and, man. You know. It's funny with these acoustics, actually, like, um, especially this kind of body shape, there's something about, it, it feels almost like a little bit of a backpacking guitar, kind of, you know, with these little songwriter type bodies, you know, and that's where this that song started, was on a guitar very similar to this kind of finger picking my well, way through it. They're balanced you know? when they're not super big. I mean, you know, I like small guitar. I mean, you know, it depends. This is not small, but it's kind of, you know, a little bit smaller than the Dreadnought or the Jumbo size. Totally, totally. And, uh, you know, they're just very well balanced. Yeah. And, you know, same thing with goes for modern guitars, too, of that size. You know, the smaller ones sound really good. Totally. But it depends on the tune and all that and the recording and how it fits in the track. Yeah. But, Sounds really good to me, but that's a really nice tune. Thanks, man. And by the way, uh, Mark really helps a lot with the Midnight Mission. I mean, he's been very involved with that a homeless charity out here in L.A. that is very dear to us. Do you have any involvement back in uh, Nashville? Is there? I, I don't, but I was I was thinking about needing to get something that going, you know. But every time there's a major holiday, I fly back here to be with the Midnight Mission, so it's good. Well, really good guy and a really good artist, and that's a, a really good tune, man. I'm really impressed. I appreciate that, Norm. So, uh, Just came out. You guys can all check it out. And where do people find you online? Everywhere. So my Instagram's uh, at Mark McKay, and. Uh, my singles that I've released are available everywhere, Spotify and Apple Music and 
Anywhere you listen to music, you can find it. Except maybe physical CDs. I don't think we printed any. <laughs> well, these days, you know, things are changing all the time in the uh, music business. So, uh, yeah, man. But so you keep writing tunes like that, and uh, some of those guys might be opening for you. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Norm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Mark well, McKay right here at Norm's Rare Guitars. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, man. Take Always care. good to see you. Yeah, same to you.